Welcome back on your Friday, everybody. I want to take you now to the southern border and to the ongoing crisis that we've seen playing out there for several years now. According to law enforcement, more than 47 people with serious criminal histories are being apprehended every single day. This week, one with a murder charge, another a member of a drug trafficking organization, and now law enforcement in Texas say they're seeing more and more people trying to transport migrants illegally into the country. Our border correspondent, Allie Bradley, is here now with how these states are fighting back against these criminals. Allie, we know the number 47. Imagine the numbers we don't know. Yeah, exactly, Marky. That amounts to around 14,000 individuals with that serious criminal he history this year alone. And Texas DPS is saying that they are seeing more individuals that are trying to smuggle humans. They are stopping more people and arresting them for that crime. And that's in part because they have more resources down along the southern border under Operation Lone Star. And some of those resources include additional troopers and air support, like what you're seeing here in this video released by Texas DPS. You see a human smuggler pulled over in Kinney County. It looks like he's going to cooperate. Instead, people bail from the vehicle. The driver dodges troopers and deputies, leads them on a high-speed chase, reaching speeds over 90 miles an hour, at one point speeding past school buses on the highway. That driver then slows down again. More people bail out of that truck. The truck eventually comes to a stop when a Texas DPS trooper performs a successful pit maneuver. They use that tactic to distract law enforcement because they know now law enforcement is going to run after those illegal immigrants or those individuals that bail out of the vehicle, and they're hoping that they can get away. Uh, but we have all the resources. Now, to curb this illegal human smuggling, Texas lawmakers right now are considering imposing a minimum 10-year sentence for anyone convicted of that crime, Marky. Now, something else here, Texas officials aren't alone in seeing this. We've been covering what's happening down in Arizona as well. We know down in Cochise County, they see two to 10 pursuits every single day, Marky. Yeah, and I want you to take me to my next point. I wanted to zoom in on Arizona specifically. Ali, walk us through what that state is doing specifically when it comes to combating the cartels in the area. Yeah, yeah, Arizona Sheriff uh, Mark Daniels has been saying enough is enough, and it's all hands on deck now. We've got law enforcement from all over the state coming down to that southeast corner of Arizona. They're launching, quote, Operation Safe Streets 2. Take a listen to what the sheriff had to say. So if you hear me today, and the cartels especially, we're coming at you. And I'll say this to you, too. For those thinking about come into Cochise County to commit international crime, think twice. We're going to make it safer. You have my commitment. Now, Sheriff Mark Daniel says that Operation Safe Streets 2 will include two additional helicopters and deputies from different counties all across the state to help track down these smugglers. Now, Sheriff Daniel says that they've arrested already more than 1,300 people for border-related state crimes. Something else here, Marky, too, uh, that we just learned about is that Sheriff Daniels met with Governor Katie Hobbs and also senior leaders from the White House yesterday, and their briefing, he is being told, is going to make it to the the president and of course the border czar Kamala Harris as well. Okay. Yeah, well, certainly the situation still remains tense and that juxtaposition of the school bus, you know, with the kids with the high speed chase, it's all hard to stomach, but uh thanks for getting us up to speed. Ali Bradley will check back in soon. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.